Safe and Sound is an informatics research project focused on improving quality and safety of patient care. An ambitious project, it harnesses decision-making, process management and communication technologies to assist at every stage in the journey of a patient with a serious disease such as cancer. Over the next few minutes, we'll follow one fictitious patient from her initial diagnosis of breast cancer through to her successful treatment and follow-up. We'll see how safe and sound technology can help Sue Goodwin with her care, improve her experience and feed information on outcomes back into hospital planning and clinical research. This technology can help not only in cancer care, but in many other conditions. In the NHS of the future, advanced IT will support all steps in the patient journey from detection and diagnosis through to treatment and aftercare, allowing decisions to be based on evidence and best practice. The challenge for the NHS is to ensure that care follows NICE and other evidence-based guidelines by using IT to guarantee flexible but safe services. Safe and sound technology demonstrates two powerful innovations. First, it can actively support evidence-based decision-making at every stage, recording all information in the patient's electronic health record. Second, it can flexibly coordinate the clinical workflow, even when this is distributed across many NHS organizations and incorporates services from independent providers. Sue Goodwin is a mother of two. Shortly after her 50th birthday, she receives a letter inviting her for routine screening by mammography. Hello. Hello, I'm Sue Goodwin. I've got an appointment for screening. If you just take a seat, the radiographer shouldn't be too long. Thanks. Next patient, Sue Goodwin. Indeterminate microcalcification. Mammographic images are captured digitally and stored in a picture archiving system within the electronic health record. They can be reviewed by any clinician involved in a patient's care. Safe and Sound adds to this by managing the selection and operation of the image processing software, automatically detecting possible abnormalities and suggesting next steps. Patients vary greatly in their physical and clinical characteristics, so flexibility in selecting the most suitable protocol is desirable. Safe and Sound can locate relevant protocols on the Internet and display their pros and cons for the individual patient. The clinician can then select the most appropriate, in this case, a protocol from the NHS Screening Program website. It includes specific image analysis algorithms and standard reporting codes for recording the results on Sue's electronic record. My name is Judy Granger. I'm a nurse practitioner here. Hello. Hi. As you know, uh, your mammogram has detected a, a small abnormality in your right breast. A suspicious abnormality has been identified in Sue's mammogram. Safe and Sound has flagged it for biopsy. The clinician discusses the reasons for this recommendation with Sue so that she can take an informed decision. Safe and Sound helps by summarizing all the information relevant to Sue's case. When she's agreed the decision, the system coordinates the technical and clinical services required and checks that hospital procedures are followed reliably and on time. Members of the breast team are kept informed, services are booked, and an email is sent to Sue with the details of her next appointment. Although decisions may be routine, Safe and Sound can provide valuable help to clinical staff by summarizing the relevant history and documenting decisions for clinical audit and ethico legal purposes. Come in, Sue. Nice to see you. Please take a seat. Thanks for coming in today. Um, we've got the results back from the tests and I want to go through them with you, explain what's going to happen next. When you get home, you can go onto the internet and read again everything that I've told you today. But you can also look at the experiences of other women such as yourself and maybe that'll help you to come to a decision. Yes, that would be helpful. More and more people use the web to search for information about medical problems. More and more services are being offered to patients to extend their choice and improve their experience. 
This may be within the NHS or through independent providers such as charities and commercial companies. Many websites already provide information, including videos of patients talking about their experiences and even specialized social networking services for particular patient groups. In the future, patients may automatically be offered opportunities to enroll in clinical trials, chart a family history to review a genetic risk, or decide whether to use complementary medicine. Safe and Sound can maintain an up-to-date list of accredited services and, once patients have left hospital, offer help in selecting the most appropriate. So today's uh, first patient is Sue Goodwin. She is 52-year-old lady. Responsibility for the care of NHS patients with complex conditions like cancer is frequently overseen by a multidisciplinary team whose members meet regularly for discussion. Safe and Sound offers tools for such meetings, including systems for monitoring patients' progress, predicting likely responses to treatment, suggesting treatments or treatment changes, and flagging eligibility for clinical trials. Safe and Sound ensures that all the tasks required by the team are coordinated and carried out according to agreed best practice and that everything is recorded in the electronic health record for clinical and ethico-legal purposes. After surgery and the multidisciplinary team meeting, Sue sees one of the specialist nurse oncologists from her team. Hello. Hello. Angela Bartram. I'm the nurse who will be giving you your chemotherapy. Right. Hello. How are you feeling now? Oh. A lot better than I did after the operation. Good. Well, things should be a lot more routine from now on. Mm -hmm. As you and your doctor have decided, you'll be taking chemotherapy. Mm. OK? We have a lot of experience in that, but we will want to just keep an eye on things. Yeah. And make sure that you're not worrying about anything. OK? OK. It says in your notes that you have an internet connection at home. Um, yes, uh, I have the internet and on my mobile, but I'm not brilliant at using it. No, don't worry about it. Paddy okay. is really easy to get on with. <laughs> oh, sorry. That's my name for it. Paddy stands for Personal Digital Assistant. Uh -huh. And one of the really useful things about Paddy is that it has a daily diary, which means that we can monitor your care. And it will provide you advice on any minor problems. It'll give you tips on diet and exercise. And it'll okay. also tell you who you can contact should you want to speak to one of us. So it should save you from having to come in here too often. Oh, <laughs> good. <laughs> With Sue's consent, Paddy finds and arranges services which she may wish to use. For example, it can offer an electronic diary with which to record her experiences and any quality of life issues. If she wishes, Paddy can search and monitor the web for new research or articles which may be of interest. Safe and Sound can also locate videos of patients who have a similar clinical history and, where consent has been given, arrange contact. Finally, Safe and Sound can play valuable roles in supporting quality and safety reviews and in clinical research. For example, it can detect adverse clinical events recorded in the patient's diary, provide automatic alerts to the clinical team as required, and record potential or actual safety-critical incidents for review. Feedback on all aspects of a patient's care can be provided to the clinical team. Advanced IT also allows the central capture of patient outcome and adverse event data and makes them available to administrators and researchers. Analysis of these data may reveal opportunities for improving the services offered to future patients and flag up research issues. A year later, in a review of services, data from all patients seen in the breast unit have been analysed, changes have been discussed, and quality and safety improvements have been implemented. Safe and Sound provides the organisational memory and the implementation tools that make this kind of evolution possible. The Safe and Sound project has built on many years of research at the Universities of Oxford and Edinburgh and Imperial College and at the Royal Free and St Mary's Hospitals in London. The work has demonstrated the wide range of benefits that flow from advanced decision support technologies for improving quality of care and patient safety. 
Safe and Sound takes this research into the era of the World Wide Web, automatically and seamlessly orchestrating the clinical processes in complex and multidisciplinary care pathways. It can also introduce many novel services for healthcare professionals and their patients.